Chris, what is our first main topic today? So we're kicking things off with Harrison. Hey there, John and friends. I was just wondering if you had heard about the Walker Texas Ranger reboot that's in development starring Jared Padalecki. Do you think rebooting this show is a good idea? And do you think Jared is too typecast after 15 seasons of Supernatural? Thanks and keep up the amazing work. All right, Jared. Good Texas kid. <laughs> what do you think? Um, yeah, this. I was a little bit surprised mm -hmm. to hear about this, to be honest. I, I mean, first of all, I love, everybody knows I love Supernatural. It's been one of my consistently one of my favorite shows for a decade. I really enjoy this show. Now, about seven years ago, they tried to branch out the boys. They tried to get Jared Padalecki and, uh, oh, what's the, the name of the Jensen other Jensen Ackles. J Jensen Ackles, who I love them both. They tried, so they, Jensen Ackles had the lead in the film, was like my 3D bloody Valentine or something like that. <laughs> Jared was in a terrible Friday the 13th movie. Both of those movies did not do well, and all of a sudden, both of them stopped doing movies. But now we're getting to the end of Supernatural. Now, these guys are set for life. They are set for life. They, they're going to have residuals coming out of Supernatural. They basically, what did they say, Rob? You need three seasons, a show to last three seasons to ensure you're probably getting residuals from replays on it and all that. This show is going to be like 14 or 15 seasons. Mm -hmm. They're set. But it's going to be interesting. But they're both still really young guys. Yeah. So what are they going to do after it? Well, now we know one of them. Now, this comes to us from the good folks over at Deadline. Supernatural star Jared Padalecki is set to headline and executive produce Walker, a reimagining of CBS's long-running 1990s action crime series Walker, Texas Ranger. The project, written executive produced by Anna uh, Fr Freak from Valor and executive produced by Dan Lin, Lethal Weapon, and Dan Spilo, Sunnyside, is being shot by CBS Studios. The CW, home of Padalecki's long-running series Supernatural, has emerged as a leading contender for the new show, with CBS also considered a possibility. Now, as far as a fit goes... First of all, do you bring back Walker, Texas Ranger, called Walker? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, you got you got the lone hero. It's a crime fighter. He's a badass. If you got a little bit of a, a of mystery involved every week, this sounds like a nice little show to do. I, I think this is the type of show that's right. Is Jared the right type of guy to do it? I'll tell you what. I won't know for sure until we see the show, but I like the casting. I think that he's got that, he's the big rugged kid. I think he's going to do well in this show. So yeah, I'll tell you what, I'm all for it. And it does make sense. You know, Jared's been a mainstay on CW forever. It, this seems like the right sh place to put it because you put this show on CW, you're going to get a good chunk of transference audience coming over from Supernatural to see what he's doing on there. Now, look, there are some drawbacks to this. I'm, I'm not saying this thing can't go south really fast. Obviously, it can. But I think this is a nice move and I'm intrigued by it. Rob, what do you think? What's what's not to love? You know, I mean, there's 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 been so much great crime thriller stuff going on on TV. I mean, whether it's Ozark, which I I didn't think I'd get into, I really liked it. I could see an updating of Walker Texas Ranger, especially look what what's going on with the border and drug cartels and 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 environmentalists and people polluting, you know, whatever. There, there, there's there's and there's always something going on in Texas. You know what they say, John? Don't mess with Texas. That's true. That's right. I learned that 30 years ago, and it's still true today. You learn and, it every week with me. <laughs> Everywhere, every week. And I, 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 why not? I mean, everyone likes him. He's going to look great in a duster and a hat. I, I'm looking forward to it. Why not? Yeah, I, I think it's a nice look. I think it's a nice addition. And by the way, though, this isn't going to be a blockbuster show. This isn't going to be the number one so, show on CBS. But I think this is this has the potential to be a nice four or five season show. This gets nice, decent middling ratings, all that kind of stuff. Now it's going to be interesting to see if Jensen can get or uh, uh, Ackles mm -hmm. to see if what he can pick up after I mean, this. You know, if you did a show like if you think something like Justified. You know, right. or or yep. I think a movie like Wind River, which is not set. In, it's it, this wouldn't be in the snow, obviously. But there's real the way that crime thriller shows have developed or movies have developed. I actually think this is a really good idea. Yeah, I think it can work too. I think there's a lot of upside. We'll see what happens, guys. What do you think about the, all this? Do you like them? Doing a Walker show? Do you think he's the right guy for it? What do you think? Jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts. All right.